Hello and thank you for joining us for the October issue of The City Magazine. The City Magazine chronicles the best of everything El Paso has to offer. With an eminent focus on the ideas, culture, and lifestyle of El Pasoans, our voice is one that emphasizes the many facets that uniquely define El Pasoans, ranging from its culture to its ever-growing fashion trends, its passion for travel and adventure, the nooks and crannies of the interesting border town. We always have new stories, endless ideas, and wealth of information to share with the loyal readers. When you receive the magazine this month, autumn is arriving. It's El Paso's best season, and October, it's best month. To kick off the season, one could not live in El Paso and understand the culture without discussing the Day of the Dead. I'm a collector of the motif. Katrina dolls are my favorites. The article titled, The Six Most Misunderstood Things About the Day of the Dead, written by Will Doherty, so clearly explains the history of the celebration a holiday that honors the dead by remembering and celebrating life. Form your own opinion and when you read the editorial you will at best become a celebrator and at worst you'll have a small education on clearly understanding its meaning. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One must live under a rock if you're not aware of Angelina Jolie's choice of preventative care by choosing to remove her breasts. Celebrities sometimes use their voice to educate their followers on the issues of hunger, issues of domestic violence, and in Angelina's case, the proactive issue of breast removal before they are diseased with cancer in the hopes to eliminate the illness. El Paso is no different than the celebrity world. Such a story is compelling. Our own Martha Vera has chosen to undergo a risk-reducing double mastectomy. Martha took the simple mouse swab test and discovered she had a mutated BRCA2 gene. This test meant she had an 87% chance of developing breast cancer and a 54% chance of developing ovarian cancer. She bravely chose to go public and tell her story of proactive preventions in the hopes that others will follow. Her actions go a long way toward answering the question, if we are medically proactive, can we get ahead of this ugly disease we call cancer? For this issue, we caught up with El Paso's 53rd Mayor, Oscar Leeser. Always cordial, Mayor Leeser welcomed our staff along with his wife, Lisa, who attended the photo shoot, helping us to capture his personality. He smiled and greeted her with a kiss, which instantly softened the mood of our team. You have to understand the pressure we feel when we're granted a photo shoot with the leader of our great city. His mere title instantly demands respect and honor from each of us that sometimes is connected with a bit of nerves, so we welcomed Lisa's presence. We're reminded how thankless this mayoral job is. The new mayor is approachable, he's frank, and willing to talk in detail about any topic that we asked of him. His dedication to this city is undeniable, and he often references his team, who works for the common goal of taking El Paso to the next best level. We hope when you finish reading this issue, you're a little more familiar with our new mayor, and we hope you find yourself more educated or at least more understanding about the controversial issue of risk reduction mastectomy. Our audience matters to us, so we proudly vow to continue delivering the content and the quality you expect and deserve. After all, we love our city, and we love our neighbors. The October quote for the month, courage doesn't always roar. Courage is a little voice at the end of the day that sometimes says, I'll try again tomorrow. Enjoy the October issue.